<clears throat> Hello loves, Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team Layout. Today we are playing with the April release of Dink. And look how beautiful this is. Oh, such, I love navy. I love the color navy and that sparkly green. I apologize for my nails. I have to do them, but they have to rest. <laughs> when I in between gel coats. So that is going to be the star of the show today. We are going to use some modeling paste with this a very fun cross stencil. I pulled in some twine. We're doing the rainbow. I would like to use these two up so we're going to see how that goes. I've pulled these in for just some other little bits and bobs. Hearts because that's going to be what? Oh. Um, what I want to focus on because I'm going to use these cute little hearts. Here's my one photograph that I'm going to make actually into two. So this is at Caesars Palace, part of their floral display for Christmas, and there was a Coca-Cola train running through. But look at all the poinsettias. It was crazy. So I'm going to do some heart-shaped photos. I've bought in these lazy dots again to pop around, and I'm going to cut hearts out of... Oh, no. This is going to map my photo. And then I'm going to cut hearts out of all of this, these fun little scrap that we've got going on here. So we've got that. I'm going to make my title out of the blue. I pulled in this sticker sheet, this sticker sheet, and this is going to be my background. So that is where we're starting. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and get some of this stencil down and I'm oh well you know what first we're gonna cut this branding strip off because otherwise I'm not gonna I'm gonna have to cut it later and look I've got stuff hanging in the way all right and I'm using my how to kill a kit with style also trying to just you know just get some stuff done. All right, so we're gonna start this about here. We're gonna, whoa, we're gonna throw stuff everywhere. All right, we're gonna hold that. We're just gonna take a little bit. Line that up. We're just going to come in and just lay some, not a very thick layer, but enough. And then we're going to pick that up. Just gonna come in and line them up just enough. Just enough. Okay, and we're gonna pick it up. Carefully, we're gonna line it back up. And then we've got our very fun um, pattern going on there. And drop that in there. Actually, I want to kind of get it down in there because every time I do that, you guys, it just dries right there. Not going to lie. It's just going to dry there. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to clean off my stencil. We're going to let this dry. And then um, I'm going to cut the hearts out. 
and we'll be back to assemble all of that. All right, this is all dry. Just a bit of coffee. And <clears throat> all right, so I once put that one there. Look at this one here. So I was able to make two little photos. Let's bring this one up. I'm gonna drop one down there. Um, and we're gonna kind of layer them up. So they are a little bit on the wonky. I thought I cut more of these. Okay. Unfortunate. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut a few more because you guys, I didn't cut enough and I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. Is there any need? Hmm. Well, that was just a mistake on my part. So we're going to cut two of these. I wonder if I should make them go the other way. You know what I mean? Like, actually, yeah. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should. Okay, now I need something darker. So all I do is just, really, I take my, um, um, my die, and I just trace it, and then I cut it so that it's so, I don't have to, like, you know why, guys? Because I'm lazy. Let's be honest. I'm lazy, and I just don't want to have to think about it. So we're going to cut two of them on the wonk. Okay. And then I think that should be enough. So let me cut those and scuff those. And then what I'm going to do is because this guy's just going to kind of sit there ish somehow put this one down here. Maybe put the red up there. Nope, let's get the red up here with this guy. And then... Alright, we're gonna play. I'm gonna figure it out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got these two popped up on some foam. Liquid glue all the way. And I've got my title little train display, because I thought that was fun. Stuck in there. I pulled in one extra alpha. And now, let's see if there's anything that we kind of want to filter around the little area, right? Now, I'm not actually sure there is. Mm -hmm, not from this sheet. Really, honestly, not from this sheet either. Oh, you know what? Let's do these little, because all we're going to do is just fill in all the little areas with the little bits and the little bobs. Kind of going to need to grab some liquid glue as well because I'm going to start going over that paste. And like I said, we're just going to come in and just start sticking all this little fun stuff down. I'll fill everything up and then the sequins are going to go all around as well. So I'm just trying to grab the different colors and I am just like I said grabbing um, all kinds of fun little items we're gonna grab these little dice too 
Oh, there's one. So, okay. <laughs> Stick that guy there. What else is on this sheet that I can pull? The little popcorn, but I don't really think it goes. I think these things are just a bit too big. Is there anything on here? This little heart, yes. Just kind of stick that one there. So, well, okay. <laughs> well, all right. And then I have these pieces that, yes, I want to use. So we are just going to pop right in. And then this little guy. It just, oh, where are we gonna put him? You know what, he's gonna go right there. Cause I think it'll work right here. Cause it says grab your passport and let's go, which I think is good cause this is, you know, it's like a train. Yeah. I don't know, in my head it's working working. I saved the packaging. We're going to throw this away. And then let's grab I'm just going to do a few of these fun little things. Kind of filter around the, the page. Just using up what we can, right? It's, mm. We've got a whole bunch of them. I'm actually loving this. I think it's super cute. And then it's like little confetti falling everywhere. And the glue is squeegeeing out, but it'll be okay because it's not going to. Uh, it dries clear. All right, so we've got those. Now, let's add some hearts. I want to say I got this from She Loves Color as well. Not real sure, but it's L Studio, so. All right. Let's pull in some of these little wonk hearts, too. Just kind of add them around the page. Give a little something, something. Because we're just really filling this in, and then we're really going to make it pop with all of the um, sequins. Because they're super, everything is so freaking adorable. Um. Let's get another orange on there. And I went with the wonky hearts from this because, well, we got a lot of wonky hearts going on. Right, there's all kinds of the wonk. So one thing you just gotta make sure is that you don't, you don't tacky it up, right? Let's move that just a little bit over. And then I want a pop of yellow down here. Okay. And then let's pop in a few of these little guys. So we'll put one there, here, here. there just getting that stuck down okay so let's put the green one up there now yes these probably would have stuck but I'm adding glue because I can and then let's get a couple all right so we've got those And now we're going to move 
for the sequins. So I am just going to grab my little sequin picker, my sequin dish, which has my Be Kind rock in it. And the gorgeous dink goes in. And all we're going to do is just start filling in the areas, right? So we're going to kind of work here. Okay. And then I'm going to, because there are so many sequins that I want to get on here, that we're just going to come in. <clears throat> and do it a little at a time so that we don't overpower. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice all of a sudden. Not cool voice, not cool. Okay, I'm just kind of these little guys in and around so we're just gonna do that and we're gonna do that all over here so I'm gonna do that off screen so you don't have to watch me keep doing that um, I am going to go ahead and do some twine and all as I do is go one two three why is it three I don't know it just always is and then I'm just going to wad it up And I'm going to like tuck one there. And then just twist, wad, turn, move, all the fun things. And we'll get one up there. And then, and this was just sitting on my desk, so I thought, hey, well, why not? And then we're going to stick one. up there as well. And when I say stick, all I'm going to do is open that up, kind of pop that, and we're going to add some adhesive, and we're just going to tuck it down. Get some adhesive here as well, drop a dump, just for a little bit more texture around the page. So I'm going to get those two stuck on, get the rest of the sequins on, and we'll be right back. All right, so the last thing I want to do is take my cheaty cheaty, my whiteout pin. But look at how fun all those sequins are. You see them all shining throughout. But I'm going to outline the layout. Let's hope this works. Oh, oh, that hurt every part of my being. Well, if this would work, it would be fabulous. So let's just find out. All right, there we go. So this is how you get. Did that totally? What kind of whiteout is this? It's trickery, I tell you. What? Okay, so usually. Uh, isn't white out supposed to be white? Not just absorb into your paper. What is this? Well, okay, so that that did, uh, did not work out how I uh, envisioned. Um. Sure does smell like white out. Let's see. It's like it's that is so freaking weird. Is my is my white out pin just broke? Is that what's going on here? Oh, we're not giving up. Apparently, you just have to make it 
It gets super messy. Okay. It's kind of like it's working now, huh? Anybody ever seen this happen before? What's wrong with me? I'm like, what is wrong? Okay, we're going with that because, and we're throwing that away. Well, that was fun. Still like the way it turned out. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it. I was thinking about doing some splatters, but I think, well, that might make it like too crazy. So, um, yeah. Don't forget to head over to Spiegel Mom's Scraps and uh, use the code. It'll be listed down below to get yourself a little discount and pick up the April releases and stay tuned for the May releases. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll check you later. Bye.